Welcome back to Adventures in Reach. I'm not going to string it along, so let's get started. Today, we're doing three knot tricks that could impress your friends or save your life. Number one is the one-handed bowling. Help! <laughs> if, you're saving, if you're on a cliff and you're barely hanging on, somebody lowers you a rope, and now you need to tie yourself in, but you can only spare one hand to hold on one hand for the rope. What you're going to do is take, take the end, you're going to go over, through the loop, around, you pass it around, and then pull your hand back through the hole there. And now you are within the bowline, so you can lower yourself down and pull me up. All right, so here's the explanation for the one-handed bowline. So I'm right-handed, so I'm holding the working end in my right hand. I'm going to bring that over the standing end and then kind of bring my fist up along my chest. I'm going to pass the end of the rope around the other strand and then I need to bring it down through the hole here. So this is the hardest part. So if I kind of bring it up to loosen this and then just kind of push the loop over with my free fingers while still pinching this rope bring it down, and now you're tied in. The second knot trick today is the rodeo figure eight stopper. So if you've ever been to a rodeo and you see the cowboys that do the knot or the rope twirling, lasso twirling, it's kind of like that. So here's what it looks like. Figure eight stopper. Do it again. <laughs> oh, missed it. It takes some practice. Figure eight stopper. So for that, definitely a great party trick. Bet somebody a drink. <laughs> it's a fun one to practice. So the explanation for the kind of rodeo figure eight stopper is you just get this going so it swings and you're, you get it to this point, right? So you have, oops. So you get it to this point. So you just have it crossed over once. And so when you're looking at it, it's just this teardrop or loop and you you're then just throwing it through that bottom loop so it just it just spins so and that's it so it just this one's the probably the quickest and easiest to learn because you literally just spin and throw it The third knot trick is a constrictor hitch. And the way we tie this is we just go like this. Now, you can use this in a variety of ways. So one, you've got some firewood or some poles, something you wanna to keep together. Um, you can put this over, this, this thing, you cinch it, stays nice and tight, okay? There's, this also has some applications in rescue, especially if you're using like a monopod and um, supporting that pod. Uh, and 
You can also use this constrictor hitch as a great pair of handcuffs. All right, try to get out. <laughs> We're stuck pretty good. This does look a lot like a clove hitch. So clove hitch is so, and what this is, is just an extra wrap on a clove hitch, okay? And so, so you can see that compared to this. Okay, so same deal with that extra wrap in there. I'm gonna show you from your perspective, okay? And so with this, you're going to start with, so my left hand, I've got the, the rope over, just draped over my left hand. My right hand, I've got it draped over my wrist. I'm going to spin, I'm gonna grab and spin my left hand in. So now I've got a loop there. And my right hand, I'm going to come around the, the back, I'm gonna come around the back and grab that outermost strand. And then I'm going to pull my hands apart like I'm driving a steering wheel. And then I'm going to fold them together like I'm closing a book. And this is the constrictor hitch. So again, over my left hand, open hand, over my right wrist, spin my left hand inward, reach around with my right, grab the leftmost strand, and I kind of bump this this one off my wrist as I pull out. So I'm in the steering wheel position, fold together like a book, and now I've got the constrictor hitch. So thanks again for tuning in to Adventures in Reach. Uh, and remember to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks for outdoors, hopefully inspiring you to uh, do some more trips and kind of build your ability or capability to do some trips with uh, maybe with less equipment and to, you know, to stretch that, to build your confidence in the outdoors and hope you tune in to next time. And I do have a couple videos about uh, repelling, you know, beginner repels and a lot of other knot videos. So feel free to check those out as well. Thank you.